Namaste. Welcome to Ayurveda Health Tips. Today we are going to discuss a very common skin disease that is found prominently in the Gulf region. That is psoriasis. What is psoriasis? Psoriasis is the abnormal and excessive growth of skin cells. Why it is happening? There are many causes for uh, psoriasis, but the basic pathology is the T cells in our body which are there to protect our body from external organisms or for to increase the immunity. These T cells do attack our own skin cells and this is why psoriasis is happening. And there are many triggering factors for psoriasis. For example, uh, stress. If you are having excessive mental tensions, it can lead to psoriasis and also bad diet. Many times uh, in traditional Ayurveda, what is called the Viruddha Ahara or improper food combination, this can lead to uh, psoriasis. The best example is uh, mixing curds or yogurt uh, with uh, uh, fish and other meats. This is not a good food combination and these sort of improper food combinations can lead to uh, psoriatic attacks and psoriasis can be in many forms for some people it can be in the black form and there are uh, uh, some type of psoriasis which happens only in the curves of the body and these are called the inverse psoriasis and there is gete type and uh, uh, there are scalp psoriasis there are many types in nails uh, for some people only in the nails it can be seen and one of the biggest complications of psoriasis is psoriatic arthritis. It can affect your joints and lead to immense pain in the joints. So, the major symptoms of psoriasis can be itchy and cracky skin, scaling of the skin, and for some people, it can be of uh, 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 pustules, like a, a, a little pus formation can be seen. And there is one type of psoriasis which is called the erythrodermic type which is really the severe form of psoriasis. So, other than the improper food combinations, it has been found that certain drugs that we do take for BP and uh, other issues, this can lead to uh, psoriasis. And also certain uh, uh, type of foods, this can also trigger the psoriasis in your body. For example, if you are allergic to some food steps and if you consume this food, uh, some people get psoriatic attack immediately on uh, such instances and another reason for psoriasis is excess alcohol and smoking so please do avoid alcohol and smoking if you are having psoriasis and coming to the remedies for uh, psoriasis uh, one thing that you can try uh, is uh, there is one peculiar herb uh, which is called the Raitia tinctoria so this Raitia tinctoria leaves these leaves can be uh, put in uh, coconut oil and uh, it can be uh, uh, exposed to sunlight and keep it at least for 7 days this way and if this oil, it will be having a little tinge this oil, if it is applied, it is found to reduce the itching and other symptoms associated with uh, psoriasis and uh, other things that you have to keep in mind have a very good diet, rich in fiber and nutrition and according to the traditional medicine, whether it is Ayurveda or naturopathic medicine, uh, we do believe excess non-vegetarian consumption and if possible non-vegetarian, especially any sort of animal and fish proteins have to be avoided if you are having psoriasis. So it is better to go on a vegetarian diet and even try to avoid milk and milk products if the symptoms are really severe. And thirdly, Try to keep your skin hydrated for that many sort of natural hydrating creams are available, natural hydrating supplements are available. So these things should be used or else this uh, uh, Raitia Tinctoria lays oil. This oil can be applied at least two to three times in a day to reduce the symptoms of uh, psoriasis. And uh, uh, another uh, uh, efficient remedy that we can use is the aloe vera. The aloe vera leaves if the outside part, that greenish part is removed, you will get a pulp. And this pulp can be made into a paste and applied to the body for having 
a proper uh, hydration and it also help to reduce the symptoms of uh, psoriasis and have a very healthy diet and eat lot uh, uh, eat lot of green leafy vegetables and also drink plenty of water to keep your uh, skin healthy and along with that you have to always keep in mind psoriasis is definitely having a psychological basis so try to reduce your stress level as we know many psoriasis patients do feel depressed because of the severity of the symptoms and many times the scaling you know when you walk around and uh, when lot of scales do fall down from your body everybody will feel depressed so emotional support from the immediate family member and friends are also very important in managing psoriasis always keep in mind psoriasis is never contagious many people do come to my clinic and ask me oh my friend uh, who is staying in the same room as of me he is having psoriasis whether uh, it will uh, spread no psoriasis is not a communicable disease you can be self patient uh, confident about that so a very healthy lifestyle combined with a uh, uh, proper stress management and drinking plenty of uh, water all these things can help to reduce the symptoms and to manage psoriasis in a very efficient way and also there is something called the colloidal oatmeal so this colloidal oatmeal uh, powder uh, we can get it in natural pharmacies if this powder is made into a paste like form and applied all over the body or if you uh, put this powder in a bath tub and if you uh, take a bath in a, uh, this colloidal oatmeal it also helps to reduce the symptoms very uh, efficiently so there are lot of uh, home remedies that we can try but before uh, doing all these things do take a consultation of an ayurvedic or naturopathic medicine doctor and also along with this practice in yoga on a day to day basis it is not for the physical symptom but to keep your emotional tensions at bay yoga can be effective so practice yoga uh, follow a very good natural routine exercise all these things combined can definitely manage uh, this manage in the uh, in, a, in the long term for you and uh, thank you for your patient listening uh, once again thank you